Hi, this is Master Ken. Yesterday, I did a consulting work and we successfully consolidate um, years of sales data into one. But that's a challenge. The sales data is huge few millions of rows. When you combine them together, it takes a while. How can we speed up this process? So there is a process that each of the file that we want to consolidate, it has several columns that needs to be removed but the convention way is that we consolidate everything into power query first then only we remove those unnecessary columns but can we do it differently in order to do that, we first need to know what is the code, the M language behind of removing static columns. So we know that it is going to be those columns that we want to remove. Therefore, we start to explore. There are two ways to remove the columns. One is that, let's say you are interested in this column. Okay, let me just cross this step. Let's say you are interested in this column. And then this column. Maybe. Maybe this column and then this column. Maybe just this three column. So now what you do is that you right click, choose remove other column. So that will give you only the columns that you selected. So that is the M language is called select columns. Okay, so as you can see that if of the columns, the way to select it is to put a double code. So and enclose with the column name. So these are the list. Okay, so now this is one way of selecting columns. Okay, using select columns. Then followed by the table that you want to select from and provide a list and the list is enclosed with this curly bracket. And each of the columns is enclosed with quotes. That's one way. The other way is that you choose, okay, this one you don't want, you right click and you remove. And this one you don't want, you right click and you remove. And notice that Power Query actually keep track of which column that you want to remove. So another way to tell Power Query is that you identify which column you want to remove, then again you remove. Now either way is that you need to provide the columns name that you want to remove or the column that you want to keep. Okay, so now you know that it's table remove columns. Okay, 
So remove columns. So now let's stop this. Now we can go back to this. And uh, we'll look at this. Now these are the fictitious uh, data and by means I want to change it to bricks wood. Do I have that from? No. no, I need to score. This is where they say C drive has for the what's it called? Yeah, rig sales. Okay, so let's come back here. Okay, so basically we have this. Then the so we combine them, add a column, and uh, so now we have okay, almost there. We're expanding it. Um, okay, so after we merge everything, that is this step. So this is where we want to remove certain columns. So just before we do a uh, expansion, so what else we have here? Okay, that is promoting. Okay, that is from here. We promote the first header. That's before you expand the time. Yeah, that is the column we want to after expanding it. So this is the step we want to add further. So from here we already have the code. So we want to remove still those columns. Let's say uh, you want to remove the this parking instruction and the log names. So how do you do about it, right? Is that you can add a step? Mm, maybe not. Let's just go for here. So, custom column. Yeah, insert step. So, we are insert step in between here. And over here, we call the table dot. Um, there are over, there are hundred over 100 columns and uh, we want to keep only 10 so it's better to select the columns than to say I want to remove 90 columns there are more columns to remove so therefore we use the select columns select columns okay uh, so just bear in mind that if you choose the item uh, you need to remove Okay, then commas and then the table is over here. Now this is not the normal table; it's actually the inner table. So put a comma there, and now we're gonna spell out. So it's a list. So let's say we only interested in uh, deleting certain columns, then we want to do a curly bracket, and uh, we want to tell them that I want to remove this packing instruction comma and then I also oh sorry it's to select because we want to there are hundreds of columns but we're only interested in selecting uh, this date and uh, also terms description okay and uh, it's the do I have that okay let's just see here close parenthesis so it is okay to enter this 
um, so we want to keep this column, this column, this column, and you can list out what else you want to go to put that comma and uh, let's see hash shape wire. So manager, you can choose from. Okay, so uh, maybe this is not you want lock code. You want it, so maybe you don't need that also. So oh yeah, maybe you want, maybe you don't. Okay, so let's say you don't. So you skip this and uh, you go here and then you say I want this column. Uh, let's see hey amount okay let's just call that a uh, break and then so these are the list of columns that you want to keep the others you want to remove okay let's just click OK and it will generate another inner table There's an error. Okay, so what is the error? Let's take a look here. The column. Okay, so it must be something with uh, typing or typo error. Instruction. Okay, let's just see. Look here. Instruction. ST hash packing instruction is not there. Let's take a look. ST hash. Packing instructions with the S. Okay, this one without the S. Okay, okay, I got you. Okay, so come back here, put the S there, and enter. Okay, then we'll come here. Look at that. So now previously the step is that we merge the all the inner table with all the columns and there are hundred over columns they want to merge and after you merge you then only you remove those unwanted columns now this method gives you a different approach you delete each of the inner table those unwanted columns then only you merge them because after all you do want those columns so my says well you delete remove those columns before you merging all those table together now that's it's a different and that makes a lot different Thanks for watching. God bless you. God bless Asia.